The random access memory is crucial to the effective functioning of a PC. It acts as a short-term store of access data, allowing you to carry out a host of functions almost instantaneously. Browsing the web, streaming video and gaming all wouldn't be possible without random access memory. However, this continues to get more efficient over time, so it's worth upgrading. However, you can't always rely on the BIOS to enable the highest speeds. In this video, I will tell you how to optimize your random access memory to achieve maximum performance. But before that, I ask you to subscribe to the channel and like this video. This motivates me to create new videos and share with you about new ways to improve system performance. How to upgrade the random access memory. The upgrading process itself isn't difficult and may even work on some laptops. Assuming you have decent access to the memory slots, it's as simple as pushing the memory sticks into place. Just make sure the power is turned off and battery removed if you're working on a laptop. Ideally, use an anti-static wrist strap too. Modern computers should automatically detect new memory next time you boot them up, but they won't necessarily pick the correct speed in other settings. These days, a standard called Serial Presence Detect is used which should make the process automatic. And while it works well most of the time for standard memory, if you bought super fast RAM you should check that it's running at full speed. A quick way to find out the current speed is to run CPU Z. Click on the Memory tab and it will tell you the current speed. Next to Dynamic Random Access Memory Frequency of your random access memory. This will probably be around half the speed you were expecting to see, but that's because it's DDR memory. DDR stands for Double Data Rate, so the effective speed is twice the frequency. In our case, that's 1400 MHz, which becomes an effective 2800 MHz. If you have fancy pants gaming random access memory, it will be able to operate faster than those standard speeds. But unless you've enabled XMP in your BIOS, it won't be. XMP is an Intel technology which lets you quickly set multiple memory timings simply by selecting a profile. You do need to do this in the BIOS, though, so restart your PC and press whichever key takes you there. This MSI BIOS makes it extremely easy because there's a big XMP on and off button on the main menu, and in EX mode it even displays the frequency in a huge font. But you may have to search around in the memory or advanced settings in your BIOS to find it. If your RAM has more than one XMP setting, then you can choose the fastest and see if your PC runs off. If not, step down to the slower and try again. Again, this MSI BIOS displays the changes you've made to highlight the before and after settings. You can see the RAM speed jumps from 2100 MHz to 2800 MHz when you enable XMP. Unless you know what you're doing, don't change the individual timings of your RAM in the advanced memory settings. When XMP is enabled and the profile selected, save the changes in the BIOS and restart your PC. Check CPUs again when Windows is running and you should find that your random access memory is now running at its optimal settings. Reduce memory. If you edit images or edit videos while opening the browser on your PC, the amount of memory used will increase and the operation of your PC will slow down. At that time, if you activate Reduce Memory, it will automatically optimize the memory usage without performing difficult settings and operations, so I actually tried using it. In the description of this video, I will leave a link to the official website of the program. Go to the website and download the file. After that, unzip the downloaded file. Double-click the executable file named Reduce Memory hex64.x in the extracted folder to start it. If your operating system is 32-bit, double-click Reduce Memory.x. When Reduce Memory is activated, the memory in use is automatically calculated, and the countdown to memory optimization starts. When the task manager was started, it was found that the memory usage was reduced when the optimization was performed. Reduce Memory automatically performs optimization at regular intervals during startup. Click Optimize to optimize at any time. Click Options to open the settings. If you check Automatically Start at Windows Startup at the top, Reduce Memory will start automatically after using the PC. If you check the Hide window on Startup box, you can enter the task tray as soon as it starts. Check Minimize to the system tray to enter the task tray when minimizing. If you check Show Reduce Memory always on top, the running Reduce Memory will always be displayed on the front. Optimization intervals can be selected from a pull-down menu enclosed in a red frame. Click Apply Options to save the settings. If this video helped you, then like this video and subscribe to the channel. And also watch our other videos about improving system performance.